In this video, we will quickly review how you can easily annotate any image and how you can also make quick five minute recordings for free using a program called Jing. Now Jing is a program that you download onto your computer. You can use it on both PC and Mac. Let's do a quick over the shoulder. Let's say that I wanted to take an image of my desktop. Jing will automatically place itself on your screen. Here you have this sun icon, and you have three little rays. The first ray allows you to capture, so when you click on that, you get these grid lines. Go ahead and you simply press down on your keypad, and you highlight the image, the area that you wish to capture, and then when you release it, you will have this. You will have the first option, which is to capture an image, the second, to capture a video, here, if I want to undo something, if I've made an error, and here I can just cancel. So right now I'm going to capture an image. Then here I get these options. This right here allows me to make arrows. So if I wanted to bring your attention to something, I would do it right here. I could change the color of that arrow by clicking here. And so now I can do an arrow that's orange. Here I can add text. So once I've clicked on the T for text, I put my cursor anywhere I want and I start typing. I can make it bigger or smaller by sliding this right here. Now if I wanted to change the background, which is currently white, and I wanted to make it black, I could make the selection like so. Now if I wanted to highlight a specific area or to frame it, I would click on the icon for frame and then with my cursor I would determine where my frame is, like so. And if I click here, I can highlight a portion just like that. Now if I wanted to undo what I've done, I can click on this back arrow and it allows me to undo what I've done. Okay, so let's do it again very quickly. Let's say that I want my arrows to be in white. I choose my color. I can do my arrow. Whoops. Click on the white. I do my arrow, the text. I can make it smaller like so. I can change the background. Let's say I want it to be red, and voila. I can frame any specific part here, so I could do something like this if I wanted to bring your attention to a specific part of the screen. And just like that, to undo it, I hit the back arrow, which is for undo. Okay, so now let's say that I'm done with my image. I have a few options. This here allows me to share this image through screencast. So if I click here, this will take a while to load, and we see the bar is working. And now I get this image letting me know that it, is, it has uploaded to Screencast. If I click on OK, I can immediately then put my cursor into my window and I paste the link, I hit return, and just like that, I've got the image. Now the other thing that I could do if I wanted to, I'm gonna do this again, and I'm just gonna do the same image capture the image. If I want to save it onto my desktop, I click here where it says save, and then I name it. And then I'm saving it to my desktop so I have a physical copy stored physically on my computer. Alrighty, that's pretty easy. Now let's say that I want to do a recording. I do the same thing. I select the area where I want to do my recording. I click here where it says capture a video. And then it's showing me that in three seconds, it will start recording. So now that I'm speaking, anything that I do here is being recorded. I go down here and I can click on finish. And if I want to see what I've recorded, I click here. Okay, so instead of making you listen through the whole thing, I just wanted to show you that. And same thing, if I want to share it on screencast, I let it upload and the bar will start working. I click on OK. I enter it into my search window, I click on enter, and here's a video. Okay, I can also save it to my desktop. Now with Jing, that's the first option, so the, this here it looks like a T, that is for you to capture. Here is the history, so it shows you everything that you have captured. You probably only want or need a free account. I have the paid account which costs $10 a month because I do a lot of 
a lot of these images and I do a lot of quick tutorials. If people get stuck on something, I'll make a quickie video just to show them step by step. Most of you may not need to have the paid account, but it is an option. Um, you could just as easily use a free account. And here you can filter if you want to see the images that you've ever taken, or if you want to see the videos that you've taken, or if you just want to see both. And then of course you can also do it by size, so it shows you the biggest down through the smallest. Or you can go by date if you want. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then here, if you click on that, this really just, you can send feedback to them, you can access your preferences if you want to make anything different. You can ask for help, or you can just quit the system. Um, and that's pretty much about it. That is how you can use Jing to annotate images or to make quick videos. If you folks ever have to send a support ticket and it's something that you really can't figure out, you can always do a recording of where you're having the issue. And this way you can email support and they can see exactly where you're having a difficulty. So I hope you found this helpful. And uh, that's it. Go ahead to download Jing. Just type in Jing and this right here. It's from TechSmith. And then you click here where it says free download. And that is it. I hope this helps. Bye.